What is up guys? Welcome back to another Stephen Womack tutorial. Today I want to look at somebody really interesting. He's a musician, a rapper. I love his music. It's Travis Scott. You guys requested him. Uh, he does a vintage orange looking filter lately that uh, you guys were really interested in. So I took a look at it and this is what I want to show you today. Um, all you will need for this tutorial to follow along is the free Lightroom app. Link is in the description and of course your mobile phone. Um, before we get started, let me tell you that I've created presets for you guys. You just have to copy and paste to your pictures to make them look great. Uh, you can find them on my website, link is below the video. And if there's anything else I can do for you, any ideas for new tutorials, new looks, let me know. Contact me on Instagram or you can always just comment below the video and I'll make sure to answer you guys. Thank you so much, let's jump right in. First of all, we open up the Lightroom app and we choose the picture. I chose this one because it comes pretty close to the sitting pictures of Travis Scott. Now he usually takes his pictures with a flash. This one is without flash. So if you can, to get the best result, take it with a flash. Then first of all, we open up the light section and we hit the curve and what we want to do here is bump up the shadows and then just pull it down slightly over here so we have a curve looking yeah kind of like this just a small curve up so we're done with the curve and now what we want to do is pull down the exposure in this case to about negative 33 then we bump up the contrast to about 35. The highlights, we want to pull them down to negative 65. For the shadows, we want to push them up to about plus 37. The whites, we as well want to push up to about 30. Nine, the blacks, we also want to push the blacks up to about plus 20 is good. Now, next we hit the color tab and we take a look at the temperature. We want to boost that up to the orange area to about plus 21. Now the tint, we want to pull that down to the green area to about negative 14. The vibrance, we also want to pull that down to about negative 10. The saturation in this case, also down to about negative 27 is good. Now this is it for the colors. We hit the color mix tab. And now we just pull down the saturation. So at first we want to pull down the red saturation to about negative 27. Then we switch to orange pull down the saturation to about, not so far, to about negative 18. Yellow, saturation down to negative 14. Green, saturation all the way down to negative 50. The aquatones, saturation down to negative 62. The blues, saturation also down to negative 50. Seven, for the purples, we also pull down the saturation to negative 47. And the magenta tones, we also pull down, once again, the saturation to about negative 36. So we're done with the color mix. And now where the real look comes in is in the effects tab. Um, the split toning. We hit the tab and then we want to boost um, our highlights just a little bit and we want to toggle to a hue of about, oh, this is really hard to get, in the, in the red area about six, but a saturation of about six as well. So now we have hue three, saturation six is okay. And for the shadows, we want to go into the 
orange area to about 42 hue and a saturation of 42 as well. Now this comes uh, close to the to the Travis Scott look so far. We're done here. Now we want to make it look a little vintage. So we're still in the effects tab. And what we want to do here is boost the texture to about plus 42. And this time pull down the clarity to soften it out to about negative 42 is good. Now we want to dehaze negative to about negative 10 and push a little dark vignette vignette in there pull down the vignette to about negative negative 10 is good and um, now we scroll all the way down to grain and this is where we get the vintage grain overlay we want to push that all the way up to you can do around 33 is good as much as you like the effect uh, you can decide yourself how much you want that grain to be in the picture 33 is good for me now um, what we can do is hit the details and do a little bit of noise reduction right here about 10 and color noise reduction of about six maybe and this is the look here's a little before and after once again i think this is really close that's it guys this is the travis scott look i think we nailed it it comes really close to his look and uh once again check out the presets that i made for you on my website link is below i hope this was great content for you if there's anything else you need just let me know in the comments under the video or also if there's any new look I can create for you, I can take a look at for you, just contact me on Instagram at Stephen Womack and I'll be happy to answer the call. So see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.